Hey Kickstarter fans and everyone watching, I'm Kyle Marshall, the guy behind Wine Crate Carpentry. And just like all of you, I've got some things that I'm really passionate about and love, like hanging out with friends and family, really fast cars and reading, but most importantly, wine, food, and making new things. And that's why I'm here to tell you a little bit more about Wine Crate Carpentry. I'm a 28 year old guy living in New York City with my beautiful girlfriend Melissa and dog Franklin trying to break into the product development field while working in high-end restaurants to pay the bills. And when we decided to move to a new place, that's when it all happened. Our new kitchen had less cabinet space and that's when I said, "Hun, i I'm going to make us a spice rack. So collecting these beautiful wine crates from work and other locations I would pick them up, take them on the subway, get strange looks from people, and carry them all the way back home to break them down panel by panel. After gathering the supplies and using my product development and carpentry skills to create the first spice rack, people saw it and instantly fell in love with it. And each time I made another, the public response grew. That's when I knew I was onto something. People love wine, love food, love unique items to talk about, and that's exactly what I had created. A product where each item is one of a kind and people can consider it a work of art, functional home decor, a recycled product, or all of the above. I believe all wines have personality, and winemakers show those personalities through these beautiful rustic boxes they've designed to ship their high-end products in. It's a shame and wasteful to throw these beautiful wine crates in the trash and I've found a way to preserve them in a way that shows how beautiful and unique they can be with a little time, skill, and effort. Currently I make anything from little carved wine bottle magnets and plaques for holding your keys to wine shelves and chef's spice racks that'll hang your wine glasses underneath the rack. They make beautiful additions to homes and even great wedding or holiday gifts for wine lovers and home chefs. We're looking to increase production and raise the funds on Kickstarter to afford a small workspace to do the disassembly, organizing, and construction of these wine crate carpentry products. Currently, all production is done in a designated corner of my New York City apartment. And as you can imagine, my girlfriend loves the sawdust. So having a rented workspace where we can work on multiple projects at a time will drastically improve how quickly orders will be fulfilled. Funding for more tools like clamps, sanders, and saws to streamline the manufacturing and production of these products is also necessary. New equipment like a table saw and drying racks to use after staining and applying varnish will be extremely beneficial. And lastly, donations will also go toward transportation for picking up large quantities of these crates from all around New York City. For example, getting a business zip car account to use vans instead of carrying wine crates on the subway. Having a van to use part-time like this isn't only the most cost-effective way to transport large amounts of wine boxes in a single trip, it'll also keep wine crate carpentry from having the overhead of buying and maintaining a vehicle in New York. We're recycling items that people already think are cool, but they throw them away because they don't think they have a use or purpose for these wine crates. We need your help and donations to get this project off the ground and these beautifully repurposed wine crates into people's homes. By making a donation at any level you can be a part of this truly unique project and feel good about bringing new life to a part of the wine industry that deserves to be redesigned, repurposed, and enjoyed by many. Thanks again for the support and I hope I'll be sending you something soon.
These are so exciting. They hold, they chill them, and they're great for my friends. Oh my gosh, they're gonna love them at the park here. Wine, hey. I'm not sure, what was the card that you looked at and remember? The King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. Here's how we find the King of Hearts. Three, two, and no. That's impressive, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. My pleasure. Shuffle tracking. Hi everyone, welcome back to the card table. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a live performance of an effect of mine called Card Jump. A very cool way to reveal a spectator's card using a wine glass. A little difficult to do, so here is an alternative brilliant way to reveal a spectator's card which also uses a wine glass that anyone can do. This version is perfect for all you guys who perform in bars, pubs, clubs, restaurants and banquets and it's perfect even for walk around because it makes use of a natural item found on the tabletop. A wine glass. Here's the effect, you get a spectator to select a card and remember it. The card then gets cut back somewhere into the deck. You then take an indifferent card and you ask the spectator if this was the card that they looked at and remembered. They'll say no. You put it inside the wine glass and you ask them to concentrate on the card they selected. And in an instant, it instantly changes into their card, the four of hearts. This is an incredibly cool way to reveal a spectator's card and it's very visual and it's easy for people to see because you're holding the...